All right, so we've moved across to the other bench where the welder is. I'm going to try this with a welder. So, in the last video, we had the uh, carbon rods taken out of the batteries. I've put one into the positive side of my welder and the other one into the negative, and I've just mounted that into the vices to hold onto it. So, I only have to hang on to this side here. Um, I have no idea about this. So, we've got the rods ready to go. Got the welder just turned on, cranked it up, got me uh, safety helmet on, so I can possibly see. So let's see if this works or not. Well, I'd call that a slight success. It's getting rather hot in there. Um, I don't know what it looked like on the camera there or not, but my view was pretty good. Um, a bit of smoke you see coming off is the uh, bit of the acid still left on the rods. Gave them a clean before. You could probably see they looked a lot cleaner. So, I'm assuming That's a success, <laughs> except for the fact that it tries to light up my uh, handle for my welder. Oh, there we go, making a arc fusion there, and that could be used in a furnace type situation. I dare say if I, if I touch that anywhere on these here, it'll cause a weld, so possibly don't want to do that at the moment. I could always test that in a different video. But as for success or not, I'm just running a Sigweld um, Transarc old style welder, about 140 amps, I think I've got it, yeah about 140 amps, so that's just pumping a whole pile of amperage through there. I wonder what it's like if it's held on the side like that. image out of the uh, handle there but that was a nice long arc all the way across Whoop. fell out the handle I think the handle probably got a little bit loose on the uh, carbon rod there and that's looking rather warm that one I might have to get a set of pliers ones that we used before and possibly pick that up off the wooden bench and I'll put it onto the uh, metal vise so that's not going to do these burn marks. I've got a couple of burn marks in the uh, table there now. You have a look down there, there's one there and one there. Whoops. Anyway. Well, there we go. We've made an arc. I just need a bit better holder than that. Basically, I think you need to have a they show you with um, vice grips holding onto them so you can hang onto them like that and they just grab onto them basically so I'm assuming it's reasonably safe but I'll just stick with the uh, plastic handle and if I do have a grip on the other end I'm going to have one with a plastic handle grip on and do the arc with that I'd rather have a plastic or rubber insulator around so that I don't get any sort of boot from it at all not that I have done from a welder but there we go, making a electronic fusion maker I guess.